what my father has brought to Peabody has really just been a lifetime of caring about the city he grew up in. He's put everything he can back into the community through philanthropy, through his time. He really just has been always the embodiment of pride in Peabody and really wanted to make where he grew up a better place for the next generation and generation after that. Dave just is the epitome of giving. He's a philanthropist. Dave means so much to the city of Peabody. For years, he's, uh, he's been giving of himself and his business to the city of Peabody, not just to the children, but to all people that needed help in life. He set the bar. He set the bar for the rest of us to attain. He makes us uh, better people because of it. I admire how willing he is to get involved, whether it's through you know, running for school committee or city council or working with PEF or even things that he's not directly involved with, with the rotary and things like that. He's just always willing to lend a hand, always willing to help out, always willing to make things better for other people. Has brought uh, a legacy of commitment to Peabody in terms of you know growing up and staying in a community and and being part of that and helping it grow and develop. Always been ways to divert his attention to other things, but he's always stayed focused on, on what's important to him. And a lot of time that stems back to, you know, the community where he grew up and where he raised his family and where he continues to be philanthropic in a number of ways. His courage. He's done a lot of things that have required a lot of courage over the course of his life to building a business uh, when he didn't really have much of a business to build into what Greybach has become now. And having, you know, vision for the Peabody Education Foundation and vision as a community member to reach for the sky and to accomplish something that probably his detractors and uh, anybody's detractors would say, hey, this can't be done. He's the person who always had the courage to say, this can be done. I might not know all the answers, but I'm going to try my best and do it anyway. David Gravel is a 15-year-old. We knew right then and there that this young man was going to be somebody in this city. He was either going to be somebody well-known in the political community or he was going to be well-known in the business community. And it turns out he's both, okay, in so many different ways. He was someone you could depend on. We had a student trip to the Bahamas, and this shows you what kind of young man he was at that point. We had a medical emergency when we were there, and it was late at night, and he's the one who ran and got teachers and who basically did the messaging back and forth so that we could help this person in that situation and stay there to do whatever needed to be done. He definitely has always taught me to go for my goals and has definitely been my number one supporter throughout everything. He's always taught me how to care for other people and put other people first. I feel like when people hear his name, they just know that he's willing to drop everything and help them in a situation. Think of the city of Peabody, they think of all the things that he's done and accomplished and has really helped the community grow overall. He's truly somebody who likes to take on a challenge and be successful with it and help his community. Undying commitment to his community and making it a better place, especially for those who don't have anything. He's had a passion for that his entire life, improving the lives of everybody in the city selflessly is what his uh, legacy is gonna be around here. Devotion to a community and not just a specific community as Peabody, but devotion to helping human beings be the best they can be, no matter what age. He's a man who's done things not just for the schools, but for the community and in his service on the school committee and the city council. And as a businessman, he's done so much to help others who are in need. That, that's just who he is. And certainly he should be remembered for, for being the kind of person that you want human beings to be. You know, he started his career in the migrant program. I think he saw there firsthand what need really looks like and that stuck with him kind of translates into everything that he's done since that time in terms of always keeping that as a focal point that there are people out there that need his help and that he had skills to offer to provide be time or or money or, or both it's just a way that he's kind of focused his energy to to carry that forward i i think that will be his legacy is that he's just the kind of guy that was always involved, the kind of guy that cared about the city deeply, I think that will be how he's remembered.
Congratulations on winning the George Peabody Legacy Award. You deserve it. Congratulations, Dad, on winning the George Peabody Legacy Award. David, my friend, congratulations. I'm very proud to speak on your behalf and t a testimonial as to what great things you do for the city of Peabody. David, you so, so, so deserve this award. Should have received it years ago for all that you have contributed to the city. And I am so grateful that you have been in my life and the lives of other people in this community. Acknowledging you in this particular way, we are saying how much we love you and appreciate you and are thankful for your very existence. So you're the greatest.